Okay, good, good afternoon. My name is Mediator Mini Mangeli, uh, uh, an accredited mediator in Kenya, and my presentation will be focus, will focus on the establishment of mediation centers in Kenya to enhance access to justice. Um, this is in uh, line with the, the conference theme, which is deconstructing artificial borders. Uh, thank you. As, as a way of introduction, um, Kenya got it, its independence from the British in 1963. The country remained a single party state until 1992 when multi-party democracy was introduced. Uh, communities in earlier years were organized in a way that the Council of Elders could solve family and community disputes. So you can already see that um, mediation did not start today, but it started uh, way back. You know, the use of mediation in Kenya is, however, um, anchored under Article 159 2C of our Constitution, uh, which was enacted in, 19, in, in, sorry, in 2010. Um, Kenya has a decentralized uh, system of governance, uh, and the motivation of this system was to bring services closer to the people. In Kenya, this uh, system of governance is known as devolution, um, a word that is very, very common uh, in our society today. Kenya has uh, 47 counties and uh, 290 sub-counties. The smallest administrative unit is headed by a chief. This is where uh, you know small little complaints go to this office and sometimes they get solved. And this is where we are imagining that mediation would work very well you know, at that level. Uh, Kenya has a population of 52.2 million, which is huge. And it is anticipated that uh, uh, it will continue growing at a rate of 2.7% uh, annually. And so you can imagine the demand of uh, justice and access to justice in Kenya will be huge. Uh, currently, there are 39 counties with high court stations and 127 magistrates courts in the country. So you can already see there are barriers to access to justice. If a country of about 47 uh, counties has 39 counties with high court uh, stations, so you can already see that there are some barriers to access to justice. According to the 2019-2020 Kenya State of Judiciary Report, the justice population ratio now stands at one, one judge to at least 304,000 citizens. Again, you can see that there are barriers to access to justice. And this is what we are you know, talking about even having mediation centers in, in the country. The current number of mediators, according to the court annex mediation, now stands at 746. And these are uh, fully accredited uh, mediators who handle court referred cases. Of course, we have many other you know, mediators who uh, necessarily don't work with the court directly, but they are also doing some good work handling cases, uh, either individually or in, in a company setup. Um, so far, um, mediation cases in Kenya take up about uh, 60 days with a possible extension of 10 days in case a case is not finalized in 60 days. Uh, in 2019-2020, uh, uh, a total of uh, 3,589 uh, cases were referred to mediation, and out of this, 1,000 and 77 cases were successfully uh, settled. So you can already see that, uh, you know, there's some uh, good ground that is being covered uh, through mediation. Since the beginning of the, the court annex mediation, um, this is the organization that, uh, that holds the mediation in the country. Uh, and since it's the, the beginning of the, the institution, which is in 2016, about 13.5 billion held in litigation has been released back to the economy. So you can already see that uh, mediation can free up a lot of, um, you know, e e economy and people can be freed to do other 
uh, things that are relevant in their day-to-day -day jobs. Uh, imagine in Kenya, a 70-year-old woman traveling, you know, about maybe 31 miles to access a court uh, station with never-ending uh, mentions and, uh, you know, fair justice is not even assured. Can you imagine what this means to this woman? Her economy, uh, her mental state, you know, the travel, the anxiety and all that. And all these are barriers that we are talking about. Imagine if she walked about six miles to a friendly mediation center uh, in her locality and her case was settled within 60 days. There is no doubt that her own economic status will be enhanced. She'll be free um, uh, to engage in other productive uh, activities in her society. Um, so what are some of the artificial borders as I see them? Uh, and as a mediator in Kenya is uh, the limited courts that we have looking at our population and looking at uh, you know the counties that have uh, high courts and uh, magistrate courts um, limited number of judges and magistrates again accessibility uh, people having to travel miles and miles uh, to access the courts uh, prohibitive costs we all know that uh, court cases are very expensive you know, litigation in itself is very, very expensive and again, very intimidating. Um, case backlogs, uh, you know, in our country, we have a huge case backlogs and, and this can be sorted out uh, through mediation. Time taken to deal uh, with a case uh, conclusively. Some cases may even take 30 years, 20 years, you know, 25 years and look at mediation in 60 days you can be able to determine a case. You know, lack of information on mediation, again, this is a barrier. A limited number of mediators in our country, uh, mediators are being trained every so often, and we are hoping that if we get uh, even to the tune of 10,000 mediators, that things will change drastically. Uh, and, and lack of, of course, lack of mediation centers, which uh, this presentation is all about establishing uh, mediation centers around uh, the country. And so um, what can we, um, how can we deconstruct uh, artificial borders as I see them here in Kenya? One is by establishing mediation centers across the country um, and, and having them easily accessible. You know, this will again provide affordable justice timely resolution of disputes. Uh, and this will, again will be, will need to have support and buy in from the stakeholders uh, where we are talking about uh, counties, we talk about county governments, the national government, the judiciary will need to have the buy in of the mediation centers. Training of more mediators, this will be key as we look at having mediation uh, centers across the country. And again, that would be very important to sensitize the public about mediation uh, so that everybody knows that there is an alternative to litigation and that they can have their cases uh, mediated. And so that's uh, my presentation for today. I take this opportunity to thank you all. Asante Nisan. Thank you. Nine minutes. Hello, everybody. I'm going to talk about integration of professional mediators in Kiev's office in Kofsirton location, Nandi County in Kenya. My name is Mediator Sela Ruto. I'm accredited mediator. I'm a teacher by profession. A board year person of Kabisaga Secondary School. A peace committee member of Kofsirton location. And also chairperson of St. Paul's Catholic Church. These posts I've held since I retired in 2007 from service. Nandi County 
is one of the 47 county governments in Kenya. It has a population of 884,711 people and an area of 2,884 square kilometers. On the other hand, Kofsertor location in Nandi County is part of the National Government Administrative Offices. That is on the ground or grassroots. And is, uh, it is headed by a chief who is a well recognized and an authoritative government official on the ground. This is for this location alone. In Kofserto location, land is held with a very high importance within the community. This arising from rich agricultural productivity as one of the nation's food basket counties. And in recent times, due to commercial interests, commercial land buying and selling and subdivision of the family land is actually one rampant issues, which has caused a lot of disagreements and conflicts between the community members. The community members then, as a result, or they consult them with the chief's office, as they are nearest government administrative office when disagreements arise. When they face a lot, they have to go to this office since they cannot reach water offices. So, therefore, in the creation of professional mediators at the chief's office would enable the community to access professional services. Since mediators apply cardinal rules, which actually influence their practical work, they are effective listeners and also neutral. Thus, resulting in productive interaction during mediation. That is strengthening of the family members' relationships in an harmonious community and togetherness. If such can be, if, if they are integrated there, the community will benefit a lot. Thank you. Have a good day.